lesson in friends you're welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another lit tutorial so this tutorial will be on how to make a cold shoulder sleeve and before we get right into it if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please do that now kindly click on the red subscribe button down below just give it a tap and subscribe also turn on the post notification bell so you get notified each time i upload a new video which i do every week without further ado guys let's get started so I have my fabric on fold in like manner. We'll be cutting a cold shoulder sleeve. And I already ruled out it will have elastic. It will be a cold shoulder sleeve with an elastic. And I'll be using this half inch elastic. So I already ruled out one inch right here, which will be for the elastic casing. So this is the elastic casing. Now, the total length I'm working with is eight inches plus one inch allowance to fold it at the hem so that is eight inches so i'm taking the measurement from here can you see i won't measure it from the elastic casing i'll measure it from here because this will be for the elastic casing so this is one inch since i'm using a half inch elastic one inch is enough for the casing so i'll measure eight inches down there can you see eight inches 8 inches and I will roll it into a straight line. Now to determine the amount of fabric to fold, just get um, half of your hand hole and add extra 3 inches to it. Half of your, how do you determine half of your hand hole? That is your bust circumference measurements divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. So after getting that, you now add extra 3 inches to it. For example, half of the hand hole I'm working with is seven and a half inches plus extra three inches. That is ten and a half inches. And I even have more than enough here. So we cut it off. Now going over to the sleeve, we are going to insert our cap height, which is three and a half inches. I have a detailed um, tutorial on how to calculate the cap height. The link to that video is in the description box below. Kindly check it out. So three and a half inches is the cap height. I will also rule that into a straight line. Now to determine the amount of fabric, I said half of the hand hole plus extra three inches, which is ten and a half inches. I will insert that right here. So this is the cap height line and the length of the sleeve. So ten and a half inches. Is right here now I will get my bodies can you see this is the back bodies so I'll be making use of the back bodies I have the front right here too can you see so I'll be making use of the back bodies now you will determine how you want your coat shoulder to be how half you want it to be can you see I just fold in the back bodies in like manner so I want to determine how um, the opening I want, the amount of opening I want for the sleeve. So I will be using four inches for the opening of the sleeve. Just like the picture you are seeing, I want it to be four inches. And I will be joining the shoulders with half inch. That is the back bodies to the front bodies. I will be using half inch to join both shoulders together. So four plus half inch, that is four and a half inches. So I'll measure that right here. So make sure they are together in like manner. So measure four and half inches, which is right here, and I will notch. Can you see? So I want my sleeve to start from here. Now, from this point now, I'll make sure I place it. First, let me rule out the 10 inches all through. So that will make the work easier. Or 10 and a half inches rather. Half of the ham hole plus extra three inches. That is ten and a half inches. So I'll rule that right here. So this is the total amount of fabric we need. So I'll be cutting this part off. Now I will place the back bodies on it in like manner. Taking note of where I want the sleeve to start. Can you see? And I already notched there four and a half inches from the shoulder. So I will place it in like manner. Can you see it? So I'm placing it on the line 
of the um, elastic casing. You can see that I did not place it from the beginning. So you place it in like manner. Because this one hinge will be for the elastic casing. Can you see? So, and just use it to cut out the remaining um, armhole right here. Which I will do right now. So let me just turn it. Can you see it? Can you see that? So this is what we have. Now for the sleeve opening. The sleeve opening is 11 inches. And that is, I will divide that by 2. That is 5 and a half inches. And I will also add extra 3 inches to it. Whatever you had to the upper part, make sure you had it to the lower part too, to the sleeve opening. So five and a half inches plus three inches, that is eight and a half inches, which is what I have right here. Eight and a half inches. Then I will connect it. Let me make use of my ruler right here. Can you see that? So, can you see it now? Now I will cut that part off. You can see that I did not add sizing allowance to it because I already added one inch sizing allowance to the bodies. And since I used the bodies itself to cut out the sleeve, I have extra one inch here as well for the sizing allowance. So now what I'll do now is to take it to the sewing machine. So I already know that I've used one inch for the elastic casing in like manner. Can you see it? Then to determine the amount of elastic you will use just take the round uh, measurement of your sleeve that is where your where the sleeve is starting from so just take the round measurement and divide it by two so i'm making use of five and a half inches so guys i forgot to cut this part off so i will cut it off now now the first thing i will do for the stitching so this is the wrong side. I will fold in one inch for the elastic casing and fold it in again and stitch on it. Now I will pass the elastic through it you see, using my safety pin. I'll just hold this end so it doesn't get lost in the casing. So guys, I already fixed in the elastic. Can you see it? I also join the front and the back shoulders together. Can you see? So there are two ways you can fix the sleeve to the bodies. You can see the remaining half hole, the half hole. So this is the part where the sleeve will be starting from. Can you see it? I already notch it. By the time I place the, can you see? Right on it in like manner. I have the exact sleeve can you see it because i use it i used the armhole the armhole to cut the sleeve so i have the exact measurements so there are two ways you can join them you can join the sleeve to the bodies you can join it in like manner join the first part here and also pick the other part and join it to the front bodies can you see or you taking the one inch size him allowance or whatever size him allowance you added maybe half or three quarter just taking the um seam allowance take it in also folding the bodies as well taking the seam allowance as well which is what i'll be doing i'll taking the allowances on both sides and also for the sleeve i will fold it in like manner and taking the allowance then i will join it so guys already taking one hinge for the side seam allowance and also taking one hinge for the sleeve as well so what i will do now is to make sure the right sides are facing each other so this is the seam area can you see so make sure it is placed also on the seam for the 
put this. I'll place it together like this. Right sides facing each other. Then can you see it? Can you see that it is accurate? So this is the part that the sleeve is starting from. Can you see it? You can see it is notched. So I'll place it in like manner and stitch it all through. All through. You can pin it down. I'll also bring the front. Can you see? And stitch it. So I will do that now. So guys, this is what we have. Can you see that? Can you see? Can you see it? So this is the part that will be opened. Can you see? Right here. Now to finish up this hand, you can just fold it in. Like one quarter inch all through. Or you, or you take a strip of fabric like this and use it to turn it in, which I'll be doing. You can see it. I'll just make sure I place it right sides facing each other. The head gem, make sure you fold it like half inch. Fold it in. I'll place it right here and stitch it all through. Stitch it all through. Then fold it in. Can you see exactly how I'll do it? And another thing you have to do is that when you are making a cold shoulder dress. Make sure you don't use the exact shoulder measurements when cutting your um, bodies. Make sure you don't use the exact um, shoulder measurements. Take away like one or one and a half inches from the shoulder measurements. For example, the shoulder measurement I worked with here is 14 inches, but I made it 13 inches because you don't want the, um, the shoulder to be popping out. By the time you put on the dress or the top, you don't want it to be popping out from your shoulder when you have SSZ because it is more like a sleeveless um, dress or a sleeveless top. So make sure you remove like one inch from the shoulder measurements. So I will finish it up now and also fold in the M and I will show you the final look on the mannequin. So that is how to make a cold shoulder sleeve. Can you see it? So this is a crop top. By the time I put it on the mannequin, you will see how it looks. Can you see it? So, I'll finish up this edge now and also fold in the hem. Can you see how beautiful it looks? So guys, we've come to the end of today's tutorial. If this tutorial has been helpful, kindly give me a giant thumbs up and also share. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please do that now. Kindly subscribe. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in my next video. Bye.